All right, fam, got the armor back in preparation for its first round, doing some more upgrades. And today's upgrade video, installation video, is going to be the removal of this stock rear bumper with some T-bone racing bumpers. So stick around. We got to pay those bills. So you know what we do, and that's roll that intro footage. I want to go ahead and jump into this video as quick as possible, but as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, and commenting. I really appreciate it, and I hope that you have been enjoying, that is, you have been enjoying the videos that I've been putting out. So today's video again, we're getting this prepped and ready for its first maiden run. We're going to replace this rear bumper. Nothing wrong with it. Okay, I just like T-Bone Racing parts and I want to replace this rear bumper and it's going to kind of clean up that rear end a little bit. If you're wondering which part to do or to get for this replacement, this is a T-Bone Racing short course basher rear bumper for the Armour Mojave and the part number is 101301 and I have it in black. I do also believe they have this in blue and red and maybe a uh, gold, not sure, but there's your part number. 101301 again the TBR SC Basher rear bumper for the Armor Mojave. What you get are five parts. These are just some of the two of them. This is going to actually be the rear bumper right here. This is what's going to sit back here that's going to clean up this part and then you get a bag of fasteners. So, enough with all that jibber jabber. Let's move over to the bench and get this started. All right, fam, so we're going to start with what I'm going to call step one. We've got the Mojave on its backside. This is the rear, all right, and this is where we're going to be working. The first thing we're going to do is remove these five screws right here, and you'll need a 2.5 millimeter hex to do that. I suggest that you use some sort of electric screwdriver if you want to do it by hand. That is fine, but it's going to be easier if you use a 2.5 hex. So we're going to remove these five first. So let's do it. Okay, so we've got the five screws removed. They're all the same size and length, so you don't have to worry about replacing them in the same exact order. They're the exact same size. So those five are out. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to move on to step two. Okay, step two, or really you can do this as the first step if you want to, is going to re involve removing two more bolts, two more screws from the chassis. And this, these two screws are located on the rear shock tower mount right above the turnbuckle. It's hard for you to see here, so I'm going to overlay a shot of this particular screw. And there's one on each side. And if you look just above the turnbuckle right here, just above it, you'll see that screw. Those two have to come out and that will allow you to remove the entire rear bumper assembly from the frame. Okay, I got the two bolts uh, screws removed. And these <clears throat> are some pretty long fasteners. I believe these are 22 millimeters. And be based off of the angle and design of my screwdriver, I went ahead and did these by hand. Again, these are 2.5 millimeter screws and it took a while to get them out, but they will come out 22 millimeters, put those to the side. And once you've removed the five on the bottom and then these two bolts that I just showed you, you simply remove the rear, entire rear bumper assembly. Let me move the Mojave out of the way for now. And this is your entire rear bumper assembly that you'll just put to the side because you're going to replace all of this basically with the T-Bone Racing rear bumper. So there's that rear end done. Now let's move on over and, and put, on, put together the rear bumper and then we'll put it onto the chassis. Want something else? I don't know what's the matter with me yet. One other thing. My apologies. Just one more thing. There are actually two more fasteners that we do need to remove. All right, now you see we've already removed these two right here. This was part of the five that removed the rear bumper from the chassis. We also have to remove these two fasteners here. So we'll do that real quick. Again, these are the 2.5s. Pop them out. 
and two. So we got the 2.5 millimeters out. These two that we just removed right here, let me get one of the one of the five that we removed earlier. So this right here is one of the five that we removed earlier. This is what we just removed, and it is a bit shorter than this one in millimeter. This small screw will go in the rear most portion of the chassis. The large, and this is when we put everything back together, the larger will go in the forward most portion of the chassis. Let me get that in there. There we go. So you have the shorter facing the rear, the larger behind it. That's just a note to remember once we reinstall the new bumper to the body. So let's move on. Okay, now we're gonna assemble uh, portions of the bumper. We're gonna need the portion in Monarch stamp. This is T157 and T156. You can't see that here, but these have been stamped and you can tell what we need by, this is the actual rear bumper, it has three holes here. This is the portion of the rear bumper that's gonna to attach to the chassis. There's the four holes. Remember the rearmost hole is the shorter. The one behind it is the longer of the two of the five screws we uh, removed initially. This part mates up to the chassis and it also affixes to the bumper. And the rear bumper has recessed holes. Those will be on the outside. This will be on the inside, all right? So we're gonna use three fasteners for that. And let me pop those out of the part. So again, you're gonna take one of these, and I know it's gonna be hard to see, but one of the shorter flathead screws right here you're gonna run it through the rear of the bumper and into the a bracket that affixes to the body. So you have three holes here, one, two, and three. Center hole, short screw. You wanna take one of the black washers, all right? Put it over top and then one of the lock, nylon lock nuts. Screw that over and then tighten it down. Let me get the socket that you'll need. Yep, so you'll need a 5.5 millimeter socket or pliers. Let me get that in frame, I'm sorry. A 5.5 millimeter socket or pliers. And you wanna go ahead and tighten that down. Let me get my 2.5 on the other side. Okay, and once you've got everything tightened down, you wanna ensure that your holes here are lined up perfectly. All right, this Small, short flathead takes a 2.0 millimeter hex head to go in like that, all right? And then on the back side, you're gonna use a 5.5 millimeter socket to clamp that nylon nut down. And when you're finished, you'll have a product that looks like this. On the inside or the back side, you have the nylon lock nut. And on the outside, you have the flathead screw right there. You still have two holes open here. We have some more stuff to do. So we're gonna move on to the next portion of this install, which is just involving this. We haven't moved on to the portion where we're installing it on the vehicle yet. We're just getting this together now so that we install it on the vehicle. All the accessible screws that will become inaccessible will be easier to use now rather than later. So let's move on to the next step. Okay, so now our next step is going to be to affix these two plates right here to this main bumper assembly that we have. So first, in, in my opinion, you wanna take your longer, you got a set of longer flathead screws, place those in the holes remaining where you had the short flathead screw. So you wanna have those in. All right, once you've got those situated, you wanna take this plate that has the two oval holes here and the round hole here, Place it over, let me get a little closer on that so you can see it. Place it over the two long flathead screws that you just put in. Then you wanna take this piece here, which has the three circles, and I'll call this the top, by the tapered end of this plate. You wanna take that, Place that over those two long screws that are protruding. 
So your assembly looks similar to this. All right, so you got these two long head screws here fitting through and everything should look similar to this. So you have your three hole plate touching the rear bumper and then you have this bracket plate here pointing towards the piece that's gonna actually fit onto the chassis of the Mojave. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the two lock nuts, just hand crank those for now. All right, and then to fasten this piece to the bumper, you wanna take two of your remaining shorter button head screws and you wanna place those into these two holes here. And I'll give you a tighter close-up shot in just a second. It may be a little difficult to get that in. Just go ahead and use your hex and start it. It'll thread through the Delrin. Okay, now I've got all the threads started. So I've got two fasteners here, two fasteners here with nylon lock nuts. And we're gonna go ahead and lock everything down with two more of the nylon lock nuts, which we're gonna put on here and here. And then we'll show you what it's gonna look like fully assembled before we place it on to the model. All right, we got everything tight, locked into place. The rear bumper assembly is fully assembled and ready to be attached to the Mojave. So I'm gonna give you some, some close-up shots of this. You can see how all the plates are aligned and how everything looks and where every screw and bolt is fastened. And then we're gonna bring the Mojave back and then we're gonna attach this to the chassis. Two more screws we have to remove from the chassis. And then we're gonna get another uh, close-up shot as far as I can. I'll probably have to take some pictures so you can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it because there are a couple small washers here that are going to go in an awkward place where you have to remove two more fasteners from. But this is your finished assembly. When you go to do yours, you'll have an idea of what this looks like before you assemble it to the Mojave. All right, so next up we have two more screws to remove before we uh, put the bumper onto the chassis. And if you can see right here, this is a bad shot. I got another shot I'll overlay right now. We have to remove this screw and as well as this screw right here. And they're both 2.5 millimeter hex. We'll remove those two and then we'll go to the next part where we're gonna install the, start installing the bumper to the body. Okay, so we just removed those two fasteners from the chassis and those two fasteners are where these two holes are right here so you're not going to use the stock fasteners from the armor you're going to use the next set of large long button head screws that you got in the in the kit let me get that in there sorry about that that you got in the kit with the t-bone racing bumper you're going to place one of each through the hole with the washer just like that Okay, and then on the back side, you have these two. I'm going to get these in shot as well as I can with focus. Then you have these two silver spacers right here. Those two, two silver spacers are going to fit on the back side of these two bolts that you've pushed through the bumper assembly plate that we're going to fasten to the rear of the Mojave. So I'm going to put those on now, even though they're going to fall off as I do this, just so you can see. And these spacers are here because these bolts are too long and you don't want to tap out the pre-threaded holes in your Mojave and it's going to look just like that. So these two bolts are gonna go back into those two that we just replaced. These spacers will keep you from going too far and tapping and stripping out the uh, threads on the Mojave. We're gonna get that done. I'll try to get the shot as best I can, but it's gonna be difficult. But this is how the assembly should look as you place it onto the Mojave. So let's get to that part now. Okay, this is a difficult angle for you to see, but I do have the two bolts. And you can see I had to use my own washers because I only had uh, one uh, extra washer that was shipped with the set. So that's why I'm using these silver uh, washers. So I got two of these silver uh, M3 flat washers and the bolts that came with the kit fastened through those two bolts removed, the stock bolts that we removed from the armor. 
I'm going to get a tighter shot right now as I talk about this so you can see what it looks like. But the most difficult part you're going to have when you do this, whether you do it upside down or right side up, is keeping the um, silver spacers, the thicker spacers that they provide you from falling off of the bolts. But once you get it hand threaded in, you can finish the rest and it's really simple. And this has now made it up to the chassis and we only have a few more bolts to install on the bottom and this bumper will be affixed permanently to the Mojave, tidying up that rear end and giving it a new look, but still offering the protection you want. All right, now the only thing left to do is to install these four bolts here. Remember from earlier, the short dogs go toward the rear, the longer go towards the front. All right, so longer in the right here these two are longer these two are shorter so let's get those in all right and that's it rear bumper is installed let's flip her over get that in the frame and there's a little quick top shot that's how it's going to look everything's installed nice and tight we're good to go we're going to put the body back on head back to the studio final comments All right, fam, we've come to the end of another one. We've got the new rear bumper installed. Kind of cleans up that rear end. We're going to put the body on for, so you can see what that looks like now. Here's a little side view <clears throat> of that rear bumper. Now, you do lose, uh, I'm going to call it, if you look at the stock bumper here, you do lose this, this little crash or absorption piece here. I'm not sure if that's really what it's called. But you do lose this, but you're losing the entire rear end assembly, which you used to have all back here. Okay, now you've cleaned it up with a T-Bone Racing rear end right here affixed to the body. So it's kind of tidy in the back, but you do lose some of that crash absorption. But I feel that with the design of all these different plates and affixation points, it's going to absorb a lot of that right here. Like almost like a crumple zone so to speak and it's going to take the place of that little crash zone here so let's go ahead and put the body back on it and see how that looks with the new rear bumper got everything out of the way all right body post everything will line up just as it was from factory velcro it down Here's a little back shot. Now you can already tell. Let me bring out the old bumper again. It's going to be kind of hard. You can already see the difference of how this back end is now being cleaned up. And this is your new rear end from T-Bone Racing. Nice and clean, but still offering the same level, if not more, protection. Also gives you a little bit of, you know, a little skid plate protection right here because it is affixed to the chassis from this point all the way up to about here where it attaches to the rear shock tower uh, brace. But that gives it a new look. It's nice and clean from the back side and I think it's going to be a good addition to the uh, to the Mojave. I think that looks really nice. It's, it's really good looking. Now as far as how much protection is really going to uh, give, I, I haven't taken it out yet so I can't give you any opinion on that. But as you can see from the install, it was a simple install. You have to take it step by step. That's why I did it kind of elementary. If it was a little slow, I apologize, but I'd rather do it that way so you can kind of see all the different angles and where the bolts fit, how it should look when you put the bolts together, rather than me just throwing it all together, popping it on the vehicle, and then trying to show you at the end how everything looks. But there it is, fam. We got the new rear end, excuse me, the new rear bumper installed on the Mojave. Looks nice, looks clean. It's pretty simple. Again, this is from T-Bone Racing and is the TBR SC Basher rear bumper, my part number 101301. I'll leave a link in the description below. If it is out of stock, I've mentioned this on a previous video. If you leave your email um, stating that you want this product, it will help bump it up in the production uh, queue. That's what I was, uh, it was explained to me by the good folks at T-Bone Racing. So leave an email that you're interested in getting the particular product, how many you want and what color. 
It'll help bump it up in the queue. And when it's ready, they'll send you an email. Again, it's first come first serve basis. So you can get you one of these slick bumpers. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, hit that subscribe. And hey, hit that notification bell too because when I do giveaways and announce my winners, you'll know when that video is posted and you'll also know when I post other videos that you may be interested in. But thank you again, fam. And remember, I am Jay of Jay Sinister Productions, exiting stage left. Sinister Productions.